Housing in Ghana is challenged in all aspects, from land acquisition through to construction of the physical structure and access to basic services and infrastructure as well as financing. It remains one of the critical development challenges because of the huge gap between the supply and demand for housing. Another major factor is the high cost of houses, which are often priced far above what an average worker can afford. The situation has resulted in the development of many slums in different parts of the country, with many people living in unhealthy conditions. Ghana's multi-dimensional poverty index released this year indicated that poverty reduced between 2011 and 2018, though gains have not been made in areas of housing and education. It's noted statistically significant progress being made across all the 12 indicators of multi-dimensional poverty among the poor except school attendance and inadequate housing. To tackle this situation, the incumbent government has promised to set up two institutions to drive the housing delivery process if given the chance to run the country for another term. According to the government, the Ghana Housing Authority will improve the legal and regulatory framework, create land banks and provide infrastructure, while the National Housing and Mortgage Finance Company will establish financial arrangements for the demand and supply side of housing markets. But the Executive Secretary of the Ghana Real Estate Development Association, Sami Amegayibo, laments the lack of continuity among different governments in the country, which is affecting the housing sector. Whilst there are programs and attempts and several discussions taking place in the past, which we need have to look at and look at how we can follow it through and begin to benefit from the uh, results that are expected. We go round in circles to try and assume to be doing new things, and yet it's the same thing that we are recycling. Is this a national housing policy or is NDC policy? You understand? If it is NDC policy, then you can tell me that MPP wants to come up with their own. But this is a national housing policy. For me, that is what they should revisit. If you visit this document, it tells you that we need a national housing policy. Uh, sorry, a, a national housing authority. And so that is what we should go for. What is Ghana Housing Authority? It's the same thing. It's like semantics. And this exists already. So how come since 2015, we never went back to this document? Follow he further suggested a national agenda to tackle the problem of housing instead of leaving it to the political parties to plan. So we need to maintain continuity. That is why I don't believe in politics for housing. Housing cannot be done in politics. We cannot use manifesto to run policy uh, housing issues. It cannot be. People are getting married every day. Our population keeps increasing. Housing will never go away. We will need housing as we live and exist as Ghanaians or as citizens. So we need to have a national and holistic approach to housing, not manifestos. I don't say that the manifesto is bad. The manifesto gives you a blueprint of what they want to do. But for me, running housing agenda on, on manifesto will fail because NBC will come and suggest how housing should run. And when they unfortunately leave power and another party comes to power, they will throw that policy away because it is not their policy. And they will not continue. That is what is happening right now. So let's agree as a nation that this is how our housing should run. So that the political parties will come and suggest how we finance or go ahead with those plans that we have in place. Hi guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to our City TV YouTube channel for more videos on the business dashboard. Tune in and stay updated on the key business news stories of the day with Business Dashboard every weekday at 7 p.m. only on City TV.